Hey everyone, what is going on? Shark Tank here, back again with the newest chapter of Attack on Titan, aka Shingeki no Kyojin. Uh, pretty much the last chapter, from what I can recall, it ended with finding out that Bopa the Bum, hey Levi, he's alive, he's not dead, Hanji is okay, they're all okay. And now this is the latest chapter afterwards to see what kind of happens from that point onwards, okay? So this is chapter 126, Pride. So let's begin this one. Hey, what happened, Oliver? Hang in there. So yeah, Oliver is, I think, dead. Ooh, sorry, Oliver. And you see Hanji, and you see her using like a sniper to snipe that one girl, and she fell down. Oh, she sniped both of them, I think. And she's crying, and I don't know why she's crying. Oh, okay, so they were going after. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, yeah. So like pretty much they were going to go after them, and that's why she's sniping them down. Uh, the pursuers are all gone, Levi. And Levi's like, Le dude, you can't kill off Levi. You cannot kill off Levi. Like, like he is never gonna die. So right now they're hiding right now, and they're in like the woods. And Hanji's like, trying to like treat his like wounds. Oh, and Levi has a scar, dude. Dang it. Wow. Everyone was turned into titans, but only you survived. The fact that you're still alive with these wounds is the same reason, isn't it? Because you're an Ackerman. Yeah, Ackermans cannot die, dude. Like, like, you can, like, throw a freaking anvil on their heads and they will not die. <laughs> man. And Hanji's like, ugh, man. She's looking at Levi. I wonder, just what happened? We can't stop Zeke by ourselves. We have no choice but to leave it to the Armin, or leave it to Armin and Pixies. Oh, Pixies, dude. No, he's gone, man. Or, girl, sorry. <laughs> but even if for instance, we assume that Eren was betraying Zeke, as long as the Jaegerists rule this island with the spinal fluid, we're going to be wanted people for our whole lives here. Man, it's probably our own turn now. Even if we intended on doing the right thing, the times changed and we're the ones in the cell. Dude. I'd rather the two of us just live here, right? Levi? Oh, dang. So, like, pretty much she's, like, kind of, like, thinking that, like, maybe we should just hide in the woods forever. Because pretty much, like, she's not aware of everything that, you know, just happened with, like, Armin... You know, like, Mikasa and Eren, how, like, he activated the rumbling and all this stuff, so. Oh, but now she sees it now, though. Crap. Boom. We see the big blast made by Eren. And then it's over, and she's like, what? Just now. Don't tell me. Eren. The world. Levi. And Levi's awake now. Wait, so could Levi see that, too, or could he not, just because, like, he's, like, an Ackerman? Beast. Piece of crap. Where is he? Oh, okay. So pretty much he thinks that uh, Zeke is still somewhere like around. So, uh, you don't need to get up. Zeke headed for Shinganshina with the Jaegerist. It's been about half a day since then. Just what happened? I screwed up. Without realizing he was prepared to die. Oh, yeah. Because pretty much like Levi thought that, you know, like he wouldn't want to kill himself. But no, he like, I'm like, unknown to him at the time, Zeke was fully ready to kill himself. Yeah, and then he got away. I let him go again. Oh, dang, Levi lost two fingers. Dang, man. I'm sorry, dude. You must be full of regret. But for now, what's left if we run and hide like this? What? You could hear my soliloquy? Huh? Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Uh, you could hear my soliloquy. I, 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 honestly, I don't know what that word means. <laughs> honestly. Anyway, uh, what are you building? Are you going to pull me with a horse using that? There's no way you can be docile while being kept in the dark. Yeah, that's right. I can't. My objective is killing Zeke. Dude, he is not... Dude, Levi is not done. Like, he's like, my mission's not over. I, I failed in taking down Zeke. I have to go find him now. Or I still have to go find him. Our interest matches yours. Theo Maggoth. Peak finger. Okay, yeah, so, so, so now it's back in present day. So, like, everything that just happened was in the past, like, like right before all of this happened now. But now we're back in the present, though. So, yeah, like, they're all looking. And they, so pretty much they want to, like, form, like, an alliance now because Aaron activated the rumbling. Pretty much it's, like, the end of the world, you know, like, pretty much. But, yeah. Anyway, uh, Levi Ackerman. It seems like you have strength on par with the Nine Titans, but how do you intend to dodge my bullet like that? I can't dodge a bullet. By the... But I neg neglect. Wait, I'm sorry. But I negligently expose this pitiful state of mind to the enemy. Shoot or listen. The choice is yours. 
Dude, Levi, dude. Levi is freaking cool, man. Crap, man. Levi, Lee, he does not play around. Like, he's like, dude, it's a do or die time. Like, I literally, at this point now, I gotta put everything on the table because we're gonna be dead anyway if we don't. So, then I'll listen before shooting. You said you killed Zeke, but where is he now? He's probably busy with Aaron so he can use his royal blood. No, with the founding titan. Yeah, where is Zeke? Because we have no idea. Like, is he still kind of with Aaron in, like, the big titan that Aaron's now made? Or It seems like you know everything, Titan Professor Hanji. Even more than us Marlians. Were you able to see the founding titan? It was absurdly big, and I know it seems like nothing can be done about it. So, we have no choice but to... Or no, we have no choice but to do it. Let's combine our strength. That sort of thing. Oh, dude, the alliance between the aliens and the Marlins. You see all the colossal titans up there. And you see... Uh, dude, why am I forgetting his name? I, I had no idea why I'm forgetting his name. I literally know his name. John. Dude, like, what is with me? I, I have no idea why I'm forgetting his name. Anyway, you see John down in the bed. He's like, uh, like pretty much he's like, I don't know how to, to, to like pretty much react to all of this. Because like at this point now, he's like, we kind of win, but at what cost? It's a horrible big cost. Pretty much it's like genocide for like the whole world. So like, I guess he's kind of like contemplating that or like all of that. You see Mikasa on another bed too. She's kind of like awake. Is that Annie? And that's my phone. Wait, what? Oh, shut up. <laughs> anyway. I think that's Annie. She's awake too. And you see everyone. And you see Armin. And you see, uh, uh, um, dude, why am I forgetting his name? I, I have no idea why I'm forgetting his name. I know his name. Literally, I hate him when I forget names on the spot. Even though I've been freaking watching the whole series, but like, I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, a Connie. Connie, crap. Anyway, Connie's looking at uh, him. How should I feed Falco to my mom? Brute force, after all? If I injure him and he finds out he has a titan power, it's all over. I can't mess up. I have to. Come up with some good method. He's such an honest kid. He isn't even complaining about camping in a place like this. Even though he shouldn't trust me. Does he? Trust me? Man, so right now he's contemplating on whether or not he should feed him to his mom. That's messed up for me to even say that. Like, like, or like, it's messed up for me to think that. Like, Connie's is contemplating feeding a little kid to his mother. Like, like, that sounds really, really bad out of context. So, crap. Sasha, would you understand me? Uh, I don't think she would, but I, I really don't. Like, I think honestly, she would be like, "Don't do it." So. So right now, Connie and Falco, they're at the village where his mom is. Um, weren't we going to a hospital? Why are we in a ruined village? Yeah, there's something interesting here. So I thought, I, so I thought I'd have you see it. And Connie, uh-oh. I think Connie is realizing that, or like, what's going on? This is Ragako. How did you know? I heard you talking to yourself last night. Sasa, or I mean... Sasha is a soldier Gabby shot on the airship, right? You knew I was someone, but pretended not to and brought me here. Why? To take revenge on me? No. I understand that was an act of war. Oh, they hid his mom behind the giant tent that they built around their old house! Oh, dude. Oh, man. Oh, man. Ah! She can't move, so calm down. She's been like this for years now. What is your intention showing me this? I want you to help me brush her teeth. What? There aren't many opportunities to have an experience like this. What the? Connie, what are you? On? Connie, what is going on, dude? Connie, no, no, no. I do not want to help you brush her teeth. You should not be asking him to help you brush your mom's teeth. Like, what? And that smile, what the what? What? And Falco's looking at him like, he's like, eh? Look, you just have to go at it from up there. Try climbing up there. Hey, right? Falco, get away from him. Oh, let's go. Okay, okay, Armin and Gabby are here. Gabby, he's trying to feed you to a Titan. Because you injected, because you inherited it, in, inherited the Jaw Titan. Huh? Connie, stop. Say what? Connie! Dude, listen, man. I know you've been like I know you've been through some crap, but everyone has literally been through crap. 
Like, literally, I, I hate to say it, but it's true. They, literally, everyone has been through crap. I know what you're dealing with is very, very sad and very messed up with your situation with your mom. I, I totally get that, dude. But like, at the same time, man, this is messed up, too. You're going to kill a kid who pretty much did nothing wrong. So it's like, or overall did nothing wrong. Uh, stay away. You get away from me. Connie, shut up. I don't want to hear it. Don't say anything. You guys don't understand. You're going to say that keeping him alive is better, right? So give up on your mom. Someone righteous like you can't understand an idiot. Wait, 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 what? Someone righteous like you can't understand an idiot. Is Connie calling himself an idiot? Dude, don't say that, man. And Gabby's like, Falco, use the Jaws powers. The Jaws powers? Huh? Galliard is. Oh, dude, he's sending him up the ladder. Dude, no! Connie, dude, if, if Connie dies here, I may actually kind of tear up some. Because it's like, he's climbing up the ladder where his mom is. If he accidentally falls, or something like that. No, stop. Falco. And Norm is looking. Uh, it's giving him, um, uh, memories of, um, of, um, not Levi. Dude, I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm forgetting names. I know who he is. Erwin. Gabby. Please forgive me. Huh? So Armin's going in. He's going up to the top. He, uh, he, yeah, right now he has the gear. Right now. You see Connie, Valko going up. Oh, those are kind of like stairs. Not like a ladder, but uh, still. Wait, so what's going on? Armin's up there at the top. Hey, I told you to stay away. No way! Armin, no way! Uh-uh! Armin... Do not do it. Armin, no. No. If, if Armin dies, sacrifices himself to bring back Connie's mom? No, no, dude, no. No, I like, listen. I... Ugh, dude. Hey, what are you planning to do? Say something. Armin, didn't you just tell me to stay quiet? So, I'll demonstrate- Oh my- No! No! Nah, this is giving me episode 5 vibes of Attack on Titan the anime where Armin almost died and Aaron had to like pull him out. Oh my- No! No, 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 no. I do not believe he's gonna die. I do not believe he's gonna die. Gabby's looking, Falco's looking, and you see Connie, I think, let go, and he jumps off to grab Air Oh, thank you, dude. I was about to say, like... Okay, okay, yeah. Like, I was about to say, like, I, 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 w I was like, no way. No way is Armin gonna die. No way, not like this. You see Gabby hugging, or yeah, Gabby hugging Falco. Brother, if I hadn't saved you, what would you have done? Your mom would be a human again, as the inheritor of the Colossal Titan. If that happened, it'd make mom suffer. If I think about it, I understand. Even though mom told me to become a fine soldier when she sent me off, her son might have killed children and friends, and ended up becoming the kind of Soldier, or ended up becoming that kind of soldier. Me too. I couldn't become the commander's replacement. And you see Gabby and Falco crying. Armin, I... I want to be a soldier my mom can be proud of. So, let's go help people who are in trouble. Thank you, Connie. Dude, Connie was on... I, like, no lie, this is the most development and just story progression for Connie that I've ever seen in the entire series. Like, like no lie. No lie. I mean, like, the stuff with Connie going on right now was just kind of nuts. I looked for you. I'm happy. Were you looking for me? Or were you looking for the scarf? I knew you'd have. Wait, who's that again? No, 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 no. That's the girl that, um... That's the girl that acts, like, kind of weird that, like, ran into Annie. Uh, I knew you'd have it. I'm sorry, but I thought it would bring me closer to you. The shard of the Thunder Spear in my stomach can't be removed. It's a shame. I can't see Aaron Yeager set this world free. Just for a bit. I spoke to Mr. Yeager. About you. Wait, what? He told me to throw this scarf away. What? Wait, why? But, if it's going to be thrown away anyways, I could at least have it with me. Oh, and it causes like, give it back. It's because I look up to you. I became a soldier. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. That's the little girl. 
that Mikasa saved way, way, way back uh, in the uh, um, all the way back in the beginning of the series, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I have no regrets. I followed you and lived, devoting my heart. You see all the colossal titans, so like walking. The line of titans is the end of the rumbling. We're finally released from those tremors. To me, it was like the sound of the bell bringing about freedom. The Eldian Empire has been persecuted by the world for over a hundred years, lived, un lived under the threat of the Titans throughout. However, that's over. We are already free. The Liberators, Eren, and the Jaegerist have triumphed over the world. Hey Mikasa, why don't you join and rule over the Jaegerist? I'm not interested. Jean seems to feel that way as well. Dedicate your hearts. Dedicate your hearts, dude. John's like, ugh, man. Ugh, man. Oh, dude. Oh, it's like, uh, like, like, uh, it's like, dude, you're committing, like, it's like, I, I see it both sides, but at the same time, it's like, you're committing genocide to literally the whole world. So it's like, it's like, I don't know how to really describe it, I guess. Like, I don't know. I, I do. It's like, freedom, Yegaris, Banzai, dedicate your hearts. I will devote my drink to Aaron. Anyways, we need to hurry back to Reiner. Rest assured, he's been in a, coma, a comatose, I mean, comatose state for about a couple of days now. Is it okay to take this detour? First, we'll fill up our stomachs. By the way, is it true, Armin, that Annie might be back? Yeah, all hardening has been undone. The possibility of it is... Huh? Dude, Annie's... <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Annie's right there! <laughs> what the frick is that? <laughs> oh, man, what? Annie's, like, literally sitting right next to Armin, like, like, like scarfing out, like, a cherry pie? Or something like that? Like, what? <laughs> what? Ah. Uh, huh? Yeah? Annie is devouring that pie. Connie, stop that. Four years four years worth of pie. What a nasty way to eat. What the heck? Where are the chances? That she would like sit like right next to him. Like what? <laughs> anyway, Annie is devouring that pie. Connie, stop that. Four years worth of pie. What a nasty way to eat. Sorry, waiting in line took some time. She's gone. I happened to meet with Armin and Connie and went with them. I need to hurry. I'm sorry for being a nuisance. Thank you for talking to me for the last four years. Farewell from your malicious roommate. Jeez, I can't eat all this by myself. I mean, you're doing it right now, so... Anyway, uh, thank you all for gathering here, citizens of the Empire. Now, we shall execute those two volunteers who bear a grudge against the Eldian Empire. John, what are you doing? Are, like, dude! John, why are you doing this? Wait, no way. No way, I do not believe this. And where's Aaron? Because, like, at this point now, the rumbling in terms of, like, their area is done. So it's like, where is he? By the same occasion, we Yeagerists shall carry on Aaron's will to subdue the world. This is, a proclam this is a proclamation the island of Paradis is now under our rule. The name of this criminal is Yelena. When she supported the Eldian Empire under the banner of rebellion against Marley, her real objective was to have Zeke obtain the powers, I mean the Founder's powers, and enact the completion annihilation of Eldians with his enthusi- enthu- wait, wait, Ethanasia plan. If I'm saying that right. Anyway, uh, they're just filthy Marley- uh, yeah, they're just filthy Marleyans, after all. Aaron won against Zeke and impeded his plans. But this criminal worked as Zeke's trusted servant. Oh, okay, I'm not about to say that. I'm not about to say that. Hurry up and go to H-E double hockey six because I don't want to get copyrighted or like striked or anything like that. Yelena, any last words? You haven't shot me yet. Dude, jeez, Yelena. Shoot, people from the continent can go to H-E double hockey six. <laughs> uh, shoot, it makes no difference to us, subjects of Ymir. The only ones who will be left are the people carrying Ymir's blood. Shoot. I'm not shooting yet. This criminal's name is Anyankopan. This one worked to support Eldia without knowing the Ethusanasia plan. However, he spat that out. Well, no, he spat out that he'd rather choose death over living under the rule of the Eldian Empire. Okay, that's. 
I'm, I'm not sure if that's true. I'll have to go back and see that because I'm not sure about that. <coughs> if you changed your mind, now's the time to. <laughs> oh, wait, do I? Why are you laughing? Wait, what? I let my. Oh, yeah, wait, wait. I lent my, str my strength to Eldia in order to rescue my homeland from Marley. But it was also for the sake of you all. And that's what I get as a result. My homeland being crushed and my family massacred. Well then, all that's left are lousy, chauvinistic um, people. Ha 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 ha. There's no value in sucking up to you lot. You should know how absurd it is to get indiscriminately killed without warning, right? Why don't you guys understand? Like, he's not wrong. He's not it like the thing about Attack on Titan about the whole series is that like the lines between black and white have been so blurred now that it's literally just one gray blur. It's so hard to say who's right and and who's wrong now. It really is like it's just people that are scared of the other and are trying to do what they feel like is the right thing to do. It's so hard to say who's right and who's wrong because like, this is horrible. This is horrible, man. You know, like, what's about to happen to him, his family? And, like, at the same time, all the Eldians, you know, like, Aaron and all of them, went through horrible things, too, without knowing anything. And this is wrong, too. Like, he should not be dying. Don't just keep your mouth shut. Say something, John. No! Okay, I was about to say, John. I was about to say, John. I was about to say, like, I don't think he killed him. Yeah, no, no. I was about to say, like... I was really about to say. Hey. Dang. I missed. You, what are you trying to put? Oh, the cart titans here. Flock. No way. John's not, no. John is not about to die, dude. He is not about, he is not about to die. It's the cart titan. It ran away. John got eaten. Yelena too. Go after, okay, no, 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 no. They are not dead. Anyway, Yelena too. Go after them. Get equipped. Carry the injured. Get a move on. Crap. Where's Mikasa? She needs to go after Mikasa. Where is she? You heard that? Four consecutive gunshots. It's a John signal to continue with the play. Okay, okay, cool, cool. They have. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's all one big plan. Okay. It's John signal to continue with the plan. We already packed enough food and weapons. Now the attention should be focused on the other side of the fortress. Let's go. Someone's watching. What do we do, Armin? No choice but to keep moving. Let's hurry, Mikasa. AC John. I'm not getting inside the Titan's mouth ever again. The cart tight oh, no, the cart can't maintain its Titan form for several months, right? Don't you brush your teeth or anything? That's a pretty rude thing to ask of a woman. Hey, 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 hey I mean, true. You know? <laughs> true. Anyway, uh, when did you join forces with Marley? Last night. Are you okay with that? Even though you'd secured your position if you stayed with the Jaegerus. <coughs> yeah. At that point, I just wanted to plug my ears and shut myself inside my some or inside some room. But the bones turned to ashes. Oh, no, the bones turned to ashes wouldn't forgive me for that. John, I don't understand what you're talking about, but thank you. And never mind that. Just go wash yourself. Why? Even me. The condition to borrow the cart's power was to secure you. <coughs> Sorry. And to bring you back alive. A request from Mr. General. Wake up. Hey, there he is. Huh? Oh, he sees Annie. Annie? Calm down, Mr. Reiner. Please calm down. They're all allies. There's no time. Let's hurry up and go. Go to where? Okay, so the squad is about to assemble. To stop Aaron? To save the world. Let's go. They're about to save the whole world. Let's do it. Yo, the squad is back in. And that's it. That's the end of the chapter. Dang, dude. That was a good chapter. That was a really, really good chapter. It was a great setup chapter to me. Like, uh, like overall, the whole chapter was a setup chapter. But it was done very, very well in a way. I highly enjoyed it. Pretty much, like, I'm assuming like, what they mean by save the world is they have to go find Eren. Because Eren has the ability with the Founding Titan to pretty much stop all of this from what we can tell. Or at least from what we think. Because it's not confirmed. But I think that's what they're, like, implying. Because, in, like, in order to save the world... You need to stop the rumbling, and the only one that possibly has the power to stop the rumbling is Aaron. So I think that's what they're doing. 
overall though, like it was a very, very good setup chapter. Like honestly, this is like an eight to like a nine out of ten for me. I highly enjoyed this just because it was a lot of exposition, but done in a good way. Which is kind of like showing like the aftermath for the rumbling in terms of like everything inside of the walls. And it's like now that, you know, everything in terms of like all the damage in the walls are done, then they're kind of like getting like their bearings back together. Now they're like, okay, now that we're all assembled now, now that, you know, everyone is back here, all of the kind of like side plots are done. It's time to get back to the main side plot of, again, like from what they're saying, save the world and stop the rumbling and stop Aaron pretty much. Because it's like, Aaron is just gone at this point. Like he really is like, I'm doing my own thing now. I want to save the world or at the very least save, or no. I want to save my people. I get how the other people outside of the walls are hurting too, but it's like, I care about my people. I was raised by them. I was loved by them. And I'm going to put them first before, I guess, the rest of the world. That's his mindset. I. It's like, it's so hard to agree with it. I, I, like, again, again, everything's grayed out. Everything's grayed out. But like, at the very least though, they need to stop the rumbling because genocide is not okay. Genocide for the whole world? No, no. Bad all around. Not for it at all. Aaron is definitely wrong on that side of things. So, yeah, overall, I give this like an 8 to like a 9 out of 10. I highly enjoyed the setup chapter. It, it really set up things very, very well. And a lot of like side plots with Connie and everyone and Annie. And what do you guys think, guys? Again, I highly enjoyed this chapter. But, uh, yeah, with this, I guess I'll be back next month for the next chapter. I can't wait for that. This is Shark Tank, guys. Have a great, awesome, and amazing day. I'll catch y'all later, okay? Peace.